Hello guys, how are we doing? We good? Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm good, man. I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm recently single. I'm uh, yeah, nice one. I'm um, I'm not having much luck with women at the minute, though. But, uh, I just heard backstage. Where's Ellie? <laughs> Saffling, uh, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, uh, no, I'm a, no, I'm not. I'm not having much luck with women at the minute. Um, Valentine's Day a couple of months ago, there was this bird I've been seeing, right? I've not been seeing her long. I've only had like three fingers in her, and um, <laughs> just a couple. I'm a classy guy, do you know, I'm a class guy, and uh, so it it hadn't been long, and I could I couldn't decide whether to get her something for Valentine's Day. And I decided I'd get like a little present. I just all I was gonna get right was a single rose, right? I thought that was like quite a classy, you know, romantic, classic Valentine's Day present, right? I thought she'd be happy with that single rose. She was fuming, right? <laughs> she was fuming. She couldn't believe that's all I got her. I remember when she opened the tin, right? She said, <laughs> she said, did you really have to eat the rest of these? <laughs> couldn't you put the empty wrappers in the bin? Yeah, man. Hard to please, man. Hard to please. Thank you. I am. Um, yeah, girls don't appreciate romance anymore. It's just sad for me. I'm a romantic, right? And I love all those, like, you know, like couples, old couples have, like, lovely romantic stories from the past, right? Like, my mum and dad, um, when, like, their song is uh, Luther Van Dross, Never Too Much, which is ironic because they both had enough fucking years ago. But. <laughs> When when they first started going out, right, did not did not been going out long. Like my dad had only had like one, three dates, three dates with enough fingers. Um, <laughs> did not been going out long. <laughs> and uh, and my mum gets into a car one day to go to work, right? And she gets into a car, she switches the engine on, and when she switches en the engine on, their song Ruth Van Dross comes on from the cassette player, right? Now what has happened was the night before. Uh, under the cover of darkness, my dad has gone round to my mum's house and broke into a car, <laughs> armed with a Luther Vandross tape, <laughs> and set it up so that when she got in the car, the, the song would come on, and then she'd know that he loved her. And my mum tells me that story and says, you know, that was the moment that I knew he was the one. But when I break into the house of a girl I've been seeing, <laughs> and go up to her room, and sing our song, which is Leona Lewis, Bleeding Love. <laughs> As I carve a name into my chest, all of a sudden, I'm a weirdo. I don't know, man. Girls just don't appreciate romance anymore, man. There's, men have stopped trying now. Men have stopped trying. Because men, if you go back through history, right, men used to do these romantic things. They used to do crazy over-the-top things for women they weren't even asked about. Right, like Henry, Henry VIII, right, one of history's great romantics. In, <laughs> listen... No, listen, he was. He was, man. Gets a lot of stick, Henry VIII. But it's just bitter women. Henry VIII, Henry VIII right, in 1534, after years of Anne Boleyn rejecting his, advance, his advances, right, he goes against the Pope, goes against the Pope, divorces Catherine of Aragon, creating a split between England and the Roman Catholic Church, leading to centuries of domestic turmoil and changing the face of our country forever, right? He does that for one woman. He does that for one woman. One woman who we had beheaded two years later, so. <laughs> it's okay, man. Romance is dead, romance is dead. I'll tell you why romance is dead, right? And you's aren't, you's aren't, some of you aren't gonna like it, but the reason romance is dead, right, is, is women, women have killed romance, okay? I'm sorry, but it's true, I'm sorry. Listen, I don't wish it was true, but it's true. Right, and you're not gonna like this very more. What's killed it in specifically is feminism, right? Feminism has killed romance. <laughs> it has. It has, man. And that's listen, that's not me, that's not me having a go with feminists, right? I, I'm all for feminists, and I would say that I'm a feminist, but you can't <laughs> post that. Listen, I'm not listening, I would say I'm a feminist, but you, girls, you can't have your cake and eat it too, right? Like some of you have learned the hard way, you can't. You can't. And what, what you've got to think about is where romances came from, right? Romance came because women used to be second-class citizens. Women relied on men. So men... No, listen, I'm not having a go at women. I'm saying it's good. She's got jobs now. I'm buzzing for you. <laughs> but 
what I'm saying is, is that women, women used to rely on men, so men would win women by showing them that they could, they could fulfill their needs, they could do things for them that women couldn't do for themselves, right? No, not because of the fucking hell, girls. You're proving me points here. Listen, so like, based, when we were living in caves, right, women relied on men for food. So men, men figured out how to kill fucking mammoths, right? So that you'd shag us. And then, and then civilization came, we became more emotionally developed. So men started like storming castles and slaying dragons and writing sonnets. So that you'd shag us, right? But that was the romantic era, but we're, we're not in the romantic era anymore, right? We're in the feminist era now. And in the feminist era, women don't need men, right? Women don't need men for food. They can pay for that themselves. I mean, they don't pay for it, but they could. They could. They could. That's all I'm saying. Women, women, don't need to, men, women don't need men to feel love because they've learned to love themselves, right? Which is the greatest love of all, isn't it? All right, pay. <laughs> What, what women need in the feminist era, what women really need in the feminist era now is to be left the fuck alone. <laughs> and that's what modern day romance is, right? It's men respecting women's needs to be left the fuck alone. So girls, you know, your husband or your boyfriend or whatever, every time he comes home late because he's been out with the boys or he puts the footy on and doesn't say anything to you or like he just doesn't show any interest in you or your family or your friends or your job or what you've got going on or just how you are inside. Just remember, right, these two things. Firstly, he's doing it for you, yeah. <laughs> but also, more importantly, um, it wouldn't kill you to shag him once in a while. <laughs> I mean, Chris Jackson, thank you very much.